What's going on y'all? Conscious One coming at you. So we're going to go ahead and narrate this brother's video. He calls himself Bahamut. Uh, I'll leave his video in the link. And let's just go ahead and narrate this. I got a few things to say about it. Hope everybody's doing good out there. Uh, let's get going because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I wanted to go ahead and do this in the sun uh, before I, you know, I, I be wanting to do stuff in the sun. Spirit tell me, do it in the sun, man. Show, show, show how a 43 anointed person be looking and stuff like this. But um, this brother's a little younger than me. And sometimes I do have questions about why people keep doing gang stalking videos for all this time. But just to give you all a little information on myself as far as gang stalking, uh, ever since this anointing, everybody, it's like a, at first it was a, a small circle around me. People can only, people are allowed to get this close. But now it's a huge bubble around me. And, and they only like, they still do little stuff. Some of them do stuff behind the screen, but ain't nobody trying to see me, man. Since I got this anointing, ain't nobody trying to see me. And, and, you know, outside of a camera being on them or without somebody else knowing that they're in front of me or, or, or a group of people coming around, don't nobody want to see me by themselves who got ill attentions. Okay, so they, they got to keep a far, far distance back. And even if they try to slander me and I don't know nothing about it, they still getting fucked up. But guys, I'm hungry, man. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get through this. Probably gonna be about ten minutes. See what this brother got to say about it. What's up, Bahama here? The more you work on yourself, the more you start to see everything is about control. Everything in this world is about control. Your belief systems, the way you're living life. What they tell you how to live life, what they tell you as a man or a woman, everything is about control. Even when you deal with targeting, they want to control how you feel. They know a lot of the shit they do is irritating, messed up. And in the midst of it, it'll either make or break you. But when you truly understand that everything is about control, you'll learn to control yourself. You'll learn to control your own mind. You'll learn to control what gets to you and what don't get to, what gets to you and what doesn't get to you. You'll learn and you'll learn how to control the, the words and the, the, the... That's the thing about these narcissistic people. We all want to seek some kind of control, right? But these narcissists, they can't even control themselves, which makes them even more upset because they want to control other people. And me as an anointed one, they, like Trey Genius said, man, I'm like, the people come around me, they, they act like they get into the Hall of Fame. If they, if they can upset me or do something, I mean, they love it. They love it. I'm telling you, they act like they're trying to get a trophy from the devil when they come around me. But now, if you want to control something first, learn how to control your damn self first. People can't even control their damn self. Your actions and... And you'll start to understand that these individuals and this people who capitulate to a lie, who's in this system, who refuse to wake up and refuse to do the work, whenever you have control over your own existence, they will attack you. The more you choose to cut certain things out, certain bad habits, they'll look at you like you're crazy, you're weird, you're the problem for working on yourself, for not doing what, what everybody else is doing, for not doing what's the norm. All this shit is just control. They want to control every aspect of your life. They want to control or so. There's a song called by Tear, one of my favorite songs called group called Tears for Fears. Everybody want to rule the world. Uh, this song, boy, it tell exactly how it is. This song, <laughs> this this should be a narcissist. This is like the narcissistic anthem. Tears for Fears. Everybody wants to rule the world. Learn how to rule yourself first. They want to control our mind or, or personality, especially you targeted individuals bro, out there, people who get harassed. Just accept the fact that you're different. Accept the fact that you're meant to grow. You're meant to be better than the, than the people. They tried all that stuff with me, calling me weird. They tried all that stuff with me, y'all. Those same people do not want to see me. Those, these are the same people that, that don't even like what they see in the mirror. In the, okay? These motherfuckers, 
Same people who call me all these names, they ain't trying to see me. People stuck in your in the system. And it's just the, the sad fact, bro. It is what it is. You're meant to be better. You know, don't let people, you know, try to kick you out of the city. Don't let people try to destroy your personality because it's all control. People who get harassed by whole cities, bro, you're different. So the reason for your targeting is to control your very aspect. To control how you respond and be towards people. Nah, bro. I'm at this point where I'm realizing my strength. And I'm like a warrior. I'm like a shield. I'm like an iron wall, bro. When niggas run into me, it's like there's no getting over. There's no trying to... You know. We trading war stories. Outlaws on the rise. Jealous niggas I despise. Look in my eyes. We trading war stories. Outlaws on the rise. Jealous nigga I despise. Look in my eyes. It'll make me feel bad about how I'm acting. I know when I'm around genuine, nice, high, nice, nice, kind-hearted people, I know how to respect them as such. You know, when I'm around these toxic, uptight, judgmental, shit-talking, gossiping, losing-ass people, like, I know. Now, guys, we've all talked shit about people behind their back for uh, before. I'm not exempt from that. But I noticed it was a certain age where I stopped doing that shit. Like to me, like over the age of 30, I'll give you the 35. I don't, last time I remember talking shit about somebody like on some gossip. So I must've been like in my early twenties. But when you reach, you go past a certain age and you still doing that shit and you're, and you're a so-called man, that man, that's borderline bisexual, man. You know, you all gossipy going behind people's backs that you actually want to be like them. But you get that. I associate that with like, bisexuality like if you're a dude and you doing you doing that like past the age of 35 uh you need to check your sexuality keep my distance i know to not open up my mouth i know when i get around them i expect to hear bullshit i expect to hear indirects and subliminals you're this you're that you know you're you're a demon to a to a bunch of fucking devils like and it's like you just have to go back and the beginning of this video, it's all about control. Just remember that everything is about control. And that's all these people want. The people who, 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 who don't want control over nothing, who just, all we're telling you is to just live your life. Be free, do what makes you happy. Oh, I want some control over something. All this shit, <laughs> I didn't go through all this shit for nothing. All this shit I didn't been through, oh, I want to control something. Who cares if you're not talking to this person? Who cares if you're talking to this person? Do whatever makes you happy, but at the same time, work on yourself. Understand that living is about growing, not being stagnant, not being stuck, you know, and you're, you'll go through it, you know? You'll, you'll go through certain situations where you might feel stuck, you know, harassment, you know, gang stalking. I mean, their, their goal is to keep you in a certain frequency, keep you in a certain spot, keep you where you at. And it's OK. You live and you learn, but the objective is still to grow. Tell you all the only reason I don't really like dudes that make channels about gang stalking. I'm going to be straight up honest with y'all. Especially when they've been doing it for another year. Sometimes I kind of question it. Uh, do they have ulterior motives? You know, because to be to be anointed, guys, I always talk about there's three things you got to do to be anointed. For, number one, don't have any ulterior motives. Don't serve two masters. And always practice righteousness, which don't mean being, be, being a perfect moral character. Nobody's perfectly moral. But it means always doing the right thing, regardless of what people uh, say about you. Don't seek no validation from people always do the right thing so that's my three keys to somebody who wants to be anointed always practice righteousness don't serve two masters and never ever have ulterior motives ever like i told y'all i told y'all i've been around i've been in situations so a lot of y'all would have sold out situations i've been in and get stronger you know i've been receiving indirects 
but he got 144. I meant to say he got 144 in his title. So I had to, I had to talk about this brother. I had to subscribe. But the truth is, I, I don't like these channels where they all when they, they just keep talking about gang stalking because it's almost like sometimes I feel like they're begging the devil, please leave me alone. I, I want to like, can I join your club? You know, but you know, like I said, the brother had one four four in his title. I understand that you know, uh, you know, people, you, you got to tell your story. But that gang stalking stuff, now nah, these people don't want to see me out. These motherfuckers don't want to see me. They know what it is. They know I'm hooked up with with a po very powerful energy. Motherfuckers getting fucked up for even talking about me. I don't even got to know about it. You know? So, guys who make channels like this, I appreciate what they're doing. And I hope that they get to the level that I'm at right now. I'm not trying to brag. But, you know, I got a few years now. I'm a priest now. Okay? I've mastered some things. I lost a lot of battles, but now I've won the war. That's why I got the anointing. And the proof. The only person I've seen do the stuff I've been able to do on camera is the 13th son. To, you know, when you leave in Pittsburgh, are you leaving Pittsburgh for my gang stalkers? I'll leave when I'm ready to leave. They don't control nothing about me. You might think you do because y'all enter in my place. Y'all got people around me, follow me 24 seven. You hit me with indirects and subliminals, got everyone on this bandwagon. Oh, I'm the asshole, I don't talk. You know, it, it is what it is, I'm working on myself. You know, I'm that's why I'm glad that I, I do have a YouTube channel and have been making YouTube videos, I believe, for the last seven, eight years, because y'all already know, been around the world, lived in Cambodia, lived in Las Vegas, lived in New York, from Chicago, from the hood. I'm buster free. Don't nobody got nothing on me. And there go rapping again. <laughs> I'm trying to be my, my best version. I'm trying to kill this side of me that I don't like. And y'all can't see it because y'all refuse to work on yourselves. Y'all retru y'all refuse to see the own darkness in your own heart, which is why you get around somebody who's truly working on self, who's truly trying to get better. You feel a certain type of way. You feel as though this person's an asshole, this person's mean, this person this or that, whatever the case may be, but you lack the ability to look at yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. You should, the way I feel it, if you're truly a righteous person, if you're truly happy with your life, you shouldn't be able to get around nobody and feel no type of way. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm at in my journey. Mm -hmm. You know, I, like I'm damn near harassed by a whole city. One thing I want to say about this brother, and I don't know his situation. Uh, if you, anointed people, chosen people, the ones who real, you got to get off these nine to five jobs. Because... It's almost a side to people who make these gang stalking videos. It's almost like they kind of like it in a way because it gives them something to talk about. But you got to get off these nine to five jobs. We, I was in, check this out, yeah, I was in Whole Foods the other day. Strange thing too, because my Amazon don't don't uh, app don't work when I'm at Whole Foods. At Whole Foods, I heard one of the uh, uh, clerks say something about 9,000 returns in the last, I don't know, a week or two or something from Amazon. Everything is hot, is tech now. Everything is about go pick my shit up, bring it to my door. Nine to five, we know that's obsolete. I mean, look at the sh when the shutdown happened. You know, so if you're on a nine to five, not only are you taking bullshit, you you putting your own self in jeopardy, uh, monetarily wise. You know, they start messing with your paycheck. Uh, they might shut down. People messing with you. You can't be the most productive you can be because people suck in your energy. You got to get off these nine to five jobs. That ain't where the money at. It's too, if you got a phone and a driver's license, there is no way, and you trying to rise, trying to elevate to another, there is no reason to be on a nine to five job. Now people could say, well, you still a slave too, you know. Well, am I really? Some of y'all know what I do. Some of y'all see me throw food away. Some of y'all see I do what I want to do when I want to do it. I don't know. Maybe I'm still a slave, but I feel free. I guess it's really about how you feel in the long run. But I'm telling y'all, if you want to elevate, you got to get off these nine to five jobs. You cannot elevate when working on nine to five jobs. And I even got people. I, I see the post every once in a while. Why do you stay in Pittsburgh? You know, why are you here? Those are the agents watching, bro. This is a spiritual growth. 
I'm here to develop. I'm here to get stronger. Now, trust me, I won't be in this city for long. Best believe that. Because this journey is about growing. It's about being better. And as soon as... I'm going to stop right here, y'all, because I'm starving. I just want to say we're trading war stories. Outlaws on the rise. Jealous niggas I despise. Look in my eyes. Holla at y'all later. Peace.